Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of TLFC. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the 2024 CONCACAF Nations League. So we're going to touch base on both semifinal matches coming up in a couple weeks here. And we're going to talk about the final. And then we're going to talk about the kits that just leaked. So the U.S. Men's National Team kits that just leaked that hopefully we'll be wearing in the CONCACAF Nations League. But worst case scenario, we'll be wearing in Copa America. Before we get into that, I did want to thank everybody once again for all the subscriptions and the likes and the comments. You guys are awesome. I love reading the comments, so feel free to leave a comment down below. I will read it and I'll likely respond to it. So thank you guys for everything. I really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's talk about the 2024 CONCACAF Nations League. So first, we're going to start off with our roster predictions. And starting off those roster predictions, we're going to goalkeepers. So for our three goalkeeper selections, we're going with Matt Turner, Ethan Horvath, and Drake Callender. I doubt these three choices come as a surprise to most of you guys watching, but these seem to be our three most qualified guys for the job currently. And I don't really think there's anybody else who slips into these three spots, besides maybe like Sean Johnson or somebody. I think Matt Turner will likely be the starter, even though his starting spot with Nottingham Forest has essentially been lost, with the exception of cup games. That being said, it's kind of hard to predict what Burhalter might do. He could throw in a wrench and start somebody like Calendar, but I do believe Matt Turner will be our starting goalkeeper. So now let's hit the center backs. So for center backs, I have four guys. I have Miles Robinson, Tim Ream, CCV, Cameron Carter Vickers, and Chris Richards. I think these four guys have been continuous call-ups for Burhalter and he trusts these four guys. We could potentially see someone other than CCV just because he is coming off a slight knock, but I don't think that's gonna deter Burhalter. I do expect him to be in the camp. So those are the four guys I think for our center back spots. For fullbacks, I have another four guys. On the right, I have Serginho Des starting, backed up by Joe Scali. And on the left, I have Anthony Robinson starting, backed up by Christopher Lund. I think these four spots have actually been pretty well wrapped up in recent camps. The backup left back spot has been in contention in some recent camps, but I do believe that Christopher Lund has wrapped up that position. And as long as he stays healthy moving forward, unless someone emerges, I believe that these are gonna be the four guys playing fullback for us moving forward. For our midfielders, I have five guys. So I have Johnny Cardoso, Luca De La Torre, Malik Tillman, Eunice Musa, and Gio Reyna. Obviously, the only surprise missing from this group is Weston McKinney, but he likely won't be fit because he just got a recent uh, shoulder dislocation. So I don't really expect him to be there. So other than him being here, I don't think this is a group, like really some shocking revelations with these choices. Um, we could potentially take a sixth guy in the middle and three wingers instead of five and four. Someone like Alex Zendejas could be the sixth guy in the middle because he's versatile and can play both in the middle and on the wing. But for now, I'm predicting these five players <clears throat> in the midfield and we'll have four wingers in the call-up. So on that note, let's move to the wingers. So for the four wingers, I have Christian Pulisic, Tim Weah, Brendan Aronson, and Taylor Booth. Now I think this spot, the winger spot, has a lot of contention amongst US men's national team fans. A lot of people have strong opinions about Brennan Aronson and think he isn't fit for this roster, but I do think he is starting to find his form with Union Berlin. And honestly, I think he's gonna be a perennial call up with this group of players. So my surprise call up here would be Taylor Booth. I think his form with FC Utrecht in the new year has been absolutely hard to ignore. And I think Burhalter may call him up because of it. If Burhalter doesn't call him up, I think this spot may go to Kevin Paredes because Burhalter does like direct play and Kevin Paredes does play very direct on the left, just like Tim Weah plays on the right, which I think Burhalter really likes. However, like I said, if Zendejas cracks the lineup for some more depth in the middle, both Booth and Paredes could miss out on this lineup and be left out in the cold here. But for now, I'm sticking with Booth as the column. All right, and then for strikers, I have Sargent, Balogun, and Pepe. So this is another position with a lot of contention right now and finally a spot where we actually have some solid competition. So both Brandon Vasquez and Haji Wright have been making a strong case of late to be one of these strikers called into the camps. Brandon Vasquez has five goals in his last eight and Haji has 11 goals in all competitions this season for Coventry. 
That being said, Josh Sargent's absolutely on fire, scoring 11 goals in 13 starts. I think Pepe has done incredible with his minutes at PSV and has also earned a call up. He's a proven goal scorer for the US Men's National Team whenever he gets his chances. Um, and to me, Balogun is the starter on this team. Even though his form of late hasn't been great, I think he is the starter for this team. He's just class, and I trust him to link up with some of our better attacking players, maybe more than some of the other guys. But Josh Sargent is knocking on the door. All right, so that's gonna wrap up my roster predictions. Now, before we go ahead and predict the semifinal and the final, let's go ahead and take a look at these kits real quick and see what you guys think. I have not been a huge fan of our most recent kits, even though I am sitting here in one right now, but I do have to say, I really like these two new kit leaks from Nike. First, let's take a look at the home kit. This kit is clean. I really like how clean this kit is. It actually has homages that make it feel American, unlike the previous kit. I love the collar. The collar is a 10 out of 10 to me. The blue changing into the red and white stripes really just captures that American flag look that our previous kit was missing. Uh, and I really like that. I think having some sort of national identity on the kits is somewhat important because when you look at someone playing, it's nice to just know who's playing right when you look at the kit and not have to look at the name in the top right corner. So yeah, for me, this home kit just nails it. Now let's take a look at the away kit. Now, so I don't like the away kit quite as much as I like the home kit, but that being said, I would still buy this kit and wear it. The vibrancy of the colors and the way they are stacked is kind of like an homage to the Bomb Pop kit, which was one of the most popular kits in US Men's National Team history. So I have to say, I am a huge fan of this one too. And when you look at both of these kits, you can tell it's the United States on the field. And I think that is something the previous kits were lacking. So good job, Nike. Okay, so now that we're gonna be looking fresh, well, hopefully in the CONCACAF Nations League, definitely in Copa America, let's go ahead and look at the semifinal predictions and final predictions for the CONCACAF Nations League. So first we're gonna talk about the US Men's National Team versus Jamaica semifinal match. There should be no surprise here as to who I'm picking. I'm obviously going with the United States and I'm gonna take us to win this one 3-1 against Jamaica. I think this US Men's National Team has a history of starting games flat and slow, but I kind of see the opposite in this game. I think we're gonna get out early with a 2-0 lead in the first half, and then Jamaica's gonna score early in the second half to give us a good 15, 20 minutes of nervy time before we score our third goal and finish off the semifinal match. So yes, I have the US men's national team finishing off the reggae boys, three to one to make our third consecutive Nations League final. In the second semifinal with Mexico facing off against Panama, I'm actually gonna go for an upset here and I'm taking Panama. Now, don't be too upset with me here, Mexico fans. I, I do think you actually have the superior team and players. But that being said, this Panamanian team in recent years has had a huge chip on their shoulder and has been doing well to make a name for themselves in CONCACAF. Panama completely dominated Costa Rica across both two legs of the quarterfinals, winning six to one. And I think Panama is looking for a little revenge in their Gold Cup final loss last year to Mexico. So I think this scrappy, talented, and underrated Panama squad is gonna find a way to frustrate and grind out a victory against Mexico and reach their first CONCACAF Nations League final. So let's talk about the CONCACAF Nations League final. So as much as I'd like to be edgy here, I'm going with the United States. I can't pick against our boys. I think the US men's national team comes into Arlington, ATT Stadium, Jerry World, the Death Star, whatever you wanna call it, and we take care of business against Panama. And I also think we do it in a big way. Our finals matches in Gold Cups and Nations League have been pretty nervy, but this time I'm picking us to come out with a convincing 3-0 scoreline against the Panamanians. Maybe this is wishful thinking, but I just think we are in form right now and in form in a big way. I genuinely think our goal scorers are in form, our defenders are in form, and we're just too dangerous for this Panamanian side. As pessimistic as I have been in the past, I have nothing but optimism moving forward with this US Men's National Team squad. And when it comes to our domestic cups, I genuinely think we should win handily. So probably an anticlimactic choice, but I'm picking the US Men's National Team to win their third straight Nations League title and be the three-peat champions. All right guys, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up another video. Thank you so much for watching. Future content, we're gonna go ahead and do a USL kit review. So the USL kicks off this weekend, March 9th, and not all the kits have released as of the time of me releasing this video. So I wanna make sure I get them all lined up and make a good kit review video. 
So that's going to be coming, and I am going to be doing another tag grading. We're going to be sending this card in to tag for grading to be given away in conjunction with our Cristiano Ronaldo card. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to be giving those away to 1,000 subscribers plus a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to add things in as we go here. And once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give it all away. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.